Hi there. My name is Yolanda Alvarez. I am the project manager of Crystal Q, and I am delighted to be able to present our work here today at this BPS workshop dedicated to innovations in pharmacology, education and engagement. On behalf of all the team, thank you very much to organizers for the opportunity. We would like to share with you in this video an overview of the activity that we organized in June with which we just try to keep school visits fun and alive in these terrible pandemic times that we are living uh, with everything going online and no room for in-person public outreach activities. Just to give you a bit of context here, Crystal Cube project is funded through Horizon 2020 within the Maria Sklodowska Curie RISE program, which stands for Research Innovation Staff Exchange. The overall aim of the consortium is to develop biomarkers and therapeutics, as well as to exploit commercial opportunities, all based on cystic leukotriene signaling pathway, and with a special focus on ocular neuroinflammation, cancer, and cardiovascular disease. Let me highlight that the wide communication of the project to the live public, including the youngest school audience, is a mandatory and actually a very enjoyable deliverable in all Marie Curie programs. So the format we created for our visits were short talks by Crystal Cube researchers. Each talk was followed by a Kahoot question to keep engaging kids along, along the event. So after our talks, we opened the floor for kids to ask questions to the researchers and after the event, we got the feedback from the teachers. So the topic we chose were related with crystal cube bread. So they were about cell inflammation, medicinal chemistry, several physics and animal model, angiogenesis, eye cancer and cardiovascular diseases. So here is a, a summary of all the talks. My name is Yolanda Alvarez. I am a biologist. What is that? There are a lot of receptors. Every receptor is able to recognize a very specific signal. Well, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Justine, and I work as a pharmacologist. You can see that each plate has a lots and lots of contents for testing and that sometimes they can have different colours. So the easiest way to think about these is to think of them like depending on what Lego bricks we put together we can build different things and depending on what elements we put together we can build different compounds. How are you? So I'm Alicia. This is our Seraphis facility. We use the therapies when they are five days old. Another way to measure their vision is called optokinetic response. I'm Matja. I'm a chemist and pharmacist. We can see the lens with all the blood vessels in green. The grow of external blood vessels can lead to light blindness. And so I'm a biologist. Happy is normally cells are happy and healthy, and, but sometimes what happens is one cell decides to be unhappy. These are called cells. So what we use is we use the needle and like this and then we add the cells into them. Hi guys, uh, I'm Laura. I'm working on trying to cure cardiovascular diseases. Sometimes we forget and uh, to do sport and we eat unhealthy. This is with this this in leukotriene uh, inflammation, mediated inflammation can block the, the the flow of the blood. That's why we use the mice because they have a four chance.
After the event, we circulated a survey to the schools that participated in the activity to obtain feedback from teachers and kids. From teachers, the overall feedback was very positive and they indicated that our talks were an innovative outreach activity. We have highlighted on the slide the best scores for each aspect considered, for example, quality of context in terms of topics, appropriateness of the age and grade of difficulty. We also identified where to improve. Some children may have had problems with knowledge related to some topics, which can be sorted, providing more information in advance next time. A very interesting feedback was that only women were presenting and men were missing in the activity. So far, seven women and no men have volunteered. Now we are trying to recruit men among PhD, postdocs and PIs to participate in our next year activity. We had an uncountable questions to the researchers from our youngest audience, the school kids, clearly demonstrating the communication worked in both directions. Due to the shortening of time, we were able to answer only a few of them. We asked them to draw, write, and write what they liked it and didn't like it, and what they wanted to ask or communicate us after the event. We received 79 amazing entries, some of which are playing currently in the slide. You will find the full video on our interactive talks and kids' entries in Crystal Tree YouTube channel. Our most sincere thanks to all involved in this activity, presenter, teachers, and especially our little future scientists. Thank you very much for your attention and to the VPS for inviting us to present our work and we will be happy to, to receive any question you may have.